Hi guys, Dave here from Mighty Ape, and we're going to be taking a look at the Necromunda Underhive box set. So we've just received our demo copy in this afternoon. Pre-orders are going to go live on Saturday morning, and then the release date is Friday the 24th. So, we've already had a bit of a look in the office at this, but we'll crack it open and take a look. So straight off the bat, we're getting into the sprues. So, we've got a sprue each for the Goliaths and the Escher. And then a second sprue for each of them. So, these are a duplicate sprue. Each one assembles five models, but there's a lot of different customization options in terms of the uh, the different faces which you use here, the different hair pieces and stuff for the Eshes, different weapons options. And then over on the Goliath side, again, we've got multiple different faces, multiple different weapons options and things like that. So even though it's a duplicate sprue, you're going to be able to get a reasonable amount of customization over each one. And that's before you start actually doing any um, kit bashing or converting work and things like that, cutting and repositioning and stuff. So plenty of customization on those there. Then we have our objectives and barricade sprue. And it's got some terminals and stuff to go with the doors as well. And then the uh, ammo crates actually look real cool. So you got a few las clips, stub gun rounds, grenades and stuff from them. So it's looking pretty swanky. Decent amount of detail on both sides. And these are going to paint up really well. Um, you've got some raised rivets and stuff like that. So spray them with a, uh, spray them with a uh, metallic spray. Hit them with a few washes and some weathering powders and stuff like that. And they're going to look great very fast. And then we've got our doors sprue. So we've got a few different kinds of doors. Double doors, single doors with cogs and stuff. We've got our zone mortalis bases, so you get 1525s and 1032s. So these are a hard plastic pre-textured door. The texture is it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I was expecting to be a little bit more fine detail on these, um, but again, with some weathering powders and stuff like that, and adding extra bits and things on top, you'll get a good result. Templates. They should be the same size as you used to use for 40k. Obviously you don't use them anymore, but you've probably got these in your collection, but now you get some in a nice funky fiery orange. Assembly guide. So you notice that this given you assembly options for the characters from the box set. Um, so that's a particular starting set from the rules. You don't have to assemble stuff this way. You're going to have a few different options in which you can mix and match um, mix and match your models. So you don't have to follow this exactly, um, and you can do a lot of customization work if you want to. We've got our dice. So we've got injury dice, weapons dice, here, scatter dice and stuff, and some D6 with the symbol on the 6, which is a welcome change from how GW do it a lot of the time. Pop open our card pack here. So we've got a couple of different sets of cards inside this. We've got blank cards. So these are ones you can fill in for your own warband characters. Just need to put on all the details and stuff there. So um, you know, laminating these could be really could be really useful, and then you can use a red erase marker or something to uh, fill these in. Um, there'll be some card sleeves you'll be able to put these in as well. Obviously, they're bigger than regular size Magic the Gathering cards or stuff, but there is probably a sleeve on the market that will fit these. Otherwise, as I said, chuck them in a laminator and do it that way, or you could always use a pencil. You know, go old school. Then the character cards for. The war bands and the starting rules. There's a whole bunch of them there. And then we're on to the tactics cards. So, a whole bunch of different ones. We've got two quick um, reference guides. 
So there's a PDF available of these on the Necromunda website as well, and you can download those now if you want to have a look at um, the basic mechanics and stuff like that. So that gives you the overview. Then on to the rule book. So we've got quite a bit of background information and stuff at the start. And then we start hitting the general rules. So if we look where we are in the book, we're most of the way through. Well, not most, a little bit on halfway through before we start hitting rules. So then general mechanics, basic rules, advanced rules, war gear options, the basic rules for the gangs. Now this isn't the full rules for the gang. We'll go through that in a second when we look at the gang war book. And then these are the scenarios for playing Necromunda Underhive, which is the 2D version. So, I've got another bag for cards. And then the tiles and tokens. Alright, so there are nine board tiles here. And as you can see, there's different designs, different layouts, different textures, and things like that. So you're going to be able to have quite a lot of variety just mix and matching these, these nine tiles. So that's going to give you plenty of different options in terms of how you set up your boards and stuff like that. And these are also going to look quite nice as sort of a base for... Um, your know, Sector Imperialis or Sector Mechanicus um, 3D terrain as well. You can use these kind of like you would a, um, a neoprene mat or something like that, just to give it a little bit of texture and sort of theming to it. And then you could just ignore the 2D detail on there if you wanted. So those are pretty cool. And then we've got a token sheet here. So we've got on fire, different weapons ones, wounds. We've got some arcs and trap markers and stuff. And then uh, out of ammo and... Um, taking two wounds and things like that. These will have some meaning in the rules once we take a look at them. So, tokens as well. And then the box itself, we have a ruler. This acts as a bit of a, um, I've got a little bit of broken off sprue there as well. This acts as terrain too. So you've got a door here leading into it. So the box doubles as an extra sort of room you can attach to your, your Necromunda boards. So. That is the base set. You've got two 10-man gangs. You've got all the terrain. Well, sorry, not all the terrain. You have got all the tiles and tokens and stuff that you need to play Necromunda Underhive, which is the 2D version of the game. Let's pop everything back into here. But, like you can see, quite a lot of stuff in here. Good value box set because the um, price of the gangs individually is uh, almost half the cost of um, buying the game there. So two gangs would set you back in New Zealand $166. So you're paying a little bit extra for the additional stuff on here. Now when I'm talking about pricing, I'm talking about the New Zealand RRPs for these. Um, obviously stores like Mighty Ape will be selling it for cheaper than that and you'll be able to see what our pricing is on Saturday when pre-orders go live. So that's Underhive. Then we have Gang War. So Gang War expands upon your basic rules from Underhive. So this book is almost entirely rules. There's not much in the way of background and things like that. So it starts off with your 3D terrain rules. So it's changes for line of sight, things like moving up and down, falling off bridges and things. Then you go into your campaign rules. So this is gaining experience, post-battle sequence, looting, finding new equipment, extra rules, your special territories, which people have always been a huge fan of in Necromunda campaigns. More in terms of the armories and stuff like that. And then you've got additional skills. You've got the rules for specialists and dupes and stuff like that here as well. Then we have the campaign house lists. So this is for House Goliath and House Esher. And finally, we have scenarios in here as well. So 
This is what you need to be playing on 3D battlefields. So if you've got a whole bunch of old Necromunda terrain, or you've got 40k terrain and stuff like that, for instance if you've got the uh, battle zones from Mantic, these are the extra rules you need to play on those. So the combination of these two gives you the full rules for playing Necromunda 2D style with Underhive, which is the box set, for playing 3D style with Gang War. And it has the full rules for the Goliath and the Escher gangs. These don't come with rules for the other old Necromunda gangs, your likes of your Vanscars, your Orlux, and so forth. Now those may be available as a download later on, um, possibly in time for release. There is a section on the Necromunda website for the gangs of yesteryear. So you may see that those are up at time of release. We haven't got any details about that from Games Workshop at this time. We do know that next year there will be more gangs releasing in plastic. Um, we've heard that it is going to be more of the um, those main games, those main gangs from the the old version of, of Necromunda. So you will be seeing more things coming out. But as I said, this gets you everything to play right now with House Goliath and House Escher, and there may be some extra stuff available on download at release, but we don't have any of those details yet. You'll just have to wait a couple of weeks until it comes out. But we just thought we'd spell that out for you guys so that if you're looking for rules for your Arbites or your Scavies and things like that, you're not going to find them in these yet. But it is a great excuse to play or we'll start a new gang if you, uh, if you don't have Goliath or Escher or if you want to update from those old plastics and metals but thanks for watching guys pre-orders go live on saturday morning it is a really cool box set and we're going to start working on these in the next few days um, assembling the models and stuff and we'll be showing some photos and videos as we go our viewers and uh, readers on mighty ape hobbies voted that we'd start on the escher first so they'll be the first ones to be assembled then we'll assemble the goliaths then we'll paint the eshes and then we'll paint the goliaths so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time